We made a pizza sprinkle for our chicken that's going to become our pizza crust for these individual chicken pizzettas or little pizzas. Uh, the sprinkle is just garlic and onion, granulated garlic and onion, oregano, chili flakes, and salt. Drizzled our chicken with olive oil, got it on a screaming hot griddle or grill, right? Beautiful. And once it's crusty and pretty and brown, pull these guys off. I don't want to waste any of that pizza spice. <laughs> well, it's good. Yes. So this is a gluten-free way for the whole family to enjoy pizza a lot quicker than you could order it and wait for the guy to come to the door. So here's our little chicken pizzas. And we're going to top each one of those with our fresh cherry tomato garlic sauce. Mm-hmm. I told you. <laughs> and now this is all hot and fully cooked. So all I do to finish this off and brown my cheese is pop it right under the broiler and it's done in minutes. Honestly, I'm drooling this smells so good. <laughs> the secret ingredient in my pizza is a little spit. <laughs> then you're gonna take, now this is a great tip, anytime you're cooking with fresh mozzarella, especially if you're making pizza, take it out of the plastic the second you get home or out of the liquid if it came in water, Wrap it in a paper towel and let it sit in the fridge overnight. It dries it out and makes it easier to slice or shred the next day. I know. <laughs> so now we're going to take our fresh mozzarella, cover your pizza. We're making just your basic margarita pizza. And we are a two cheese family in my house. Always either pecorino or parm in addition to our mozzarella. Today I have parm. My husband prefers pecorino, which is sheep's milk cheese, so it's a little tangier and saltier. My mama loves parmigiano, so I'm gonna use a little parmigiano today. So now we're gonna pop these under the door. When you take your little chicken pizzettas or little chicken pizzas out of the oven, this is margarita style pizza. It's just tomato and garlic and mozzarella and uh, a little parmigiano. You're gonna top it with basil. When you bring home basil from the grocery store, never put it in the refrigerator. It bruises and bitters the basil and makes it go black. Um, basil doesn't like cold, so you treat it like flowers, cut the bottoms, put it in fresh water, change it every couple of days, and put a large plastic food storage bag over the top. This creates a little greenhouse, and the basil will stay perfect and keep growing until you've used all of it. So, keep your basil in the, on the kitchen counter. And then we're gonna finish our pizza, of course, just with a few leaves of fresh, beautiful, picked sweet basil. Yeah, this is gluten-free, high protein. We make it in minutes. You can make the entire dish in less than, forget 30 minutes, in less than 20 minutes. You can make it about 15 minutes, really.